This video has been brought to you by Ilm, who has released their new album, Knowledge is Power. So make sure to check them out at www.myspace.com slash 3ilm. I was playing with my shaver and set up the wrong settings, so my beard disappeared. Don't worry, I can keep watering and it keeps growing. <laughs> Guess what? Ask Baba Ali is back, and we got another show for you. Today's show is ready, and today's show is a little bit sensitive, so if you are case sensitive, if you are the type that says, Oh, you're gonna hurt my feelings, Baba Ali! I say you go to another video and you do not watch today's episode. All you have to do is click on the browser button and close this window, or you jump to the next video and say, I'm not gonna watch it today. But if your heart can take it and your stomach can take it and you can take it, get ready because Bas Baba Ali is here today, and today is about marriage, and everyone loves marriage, loves it. And here we go. Can we roll the tape? Can we roll the tape? Ask Baba Ali. If you're looking all confused, ask Baba Ali. And you don't know what to do, ask Baba Ali. If you want advice from a friendly funny guy, ask Baba Ali. Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome to Ask Baba Ali. This is where you send in your questions and I try to answer them the best I can. All you have to do is go to AskBabaAli.com, put in your nickname, yes you're anonymous, put in your age and your city and of course your question, and then I go through the questions and pick one question each week, each Friday, and I try to answer them. Haha, <laughs> sounds easy but it's not. As you can see today, we're going to try to get a question, we're going to try to answer them inshallah. So let the party begin! Do we have a question? Of course we have a question. Can we read the question please? Let's go. This one comes from Worried and Aging Sister. That's the name she used. That's the name she used. From the city of Cambridge, she says, Asalaamu Alaikum brother, I am a sister who is 30 and still not married. Can you please give me some advice on how I can find my Prince Charming and whether or not he actually exists? Salams, a worried and aging sister. To answer your question, I checked Wikipedia and this is what I came up with. Prince Charming is a stock character who originates in a number of fairy tales. He is a prince who comes to the rescue of the damsel in distress and typically must engage in a quest to liberate her from an evil spell. I don't know about you, but something sounds shady about this guy. Prince Charming married Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella, and each marriage ending in divorce due to compulsive womanizing. Keyword womanizing, keyword divorce. I told you something shady about this guy. He himself comments. I always truly love a woman when I first pursue her. <laughs> I'm just no good at the happily ever after part. And sisters, you actually want to wait for some character like this to knock on your door? <laughs> Stop waiting. Okay, let's break down your situation. You're about to hit the big 3-0 and you hear your biological clock ticking. And you figure you're not getting any younger and you feel like your stock is dropping like a bad day at the stock market. Plus each year you see a new stock of young girls coming out. And the older girls are getting well just older. And that's when you get pushed to the side. And you don't want to be one of those girls that gets pushed to the side. And you quickly learn the older you get, the less and less proposals you get. Why is that? Because generally women don't age as well as men do. <laughs> I can't believe we just said that. I did. If you want a fairy tale, go watch Prince Charming. This is reality, I'm going to tell you how it is. So generally, the older a woman gets, the tougher it becomes for her to get married. On the other hand, the older a guy gets, the more time he has spent on his career and the more financially stable he becomes, and that makes him more attractive. Some girls believe that the same attractiveness will work for them, so they try to work on their careers and degrees and hope to hold these pieces of paper and say, look, I'm attractive, but that doesn't work. No, it does not make you more attractive. But this isn't fair. <sighs> I never said it was fair. I'm just telling you the reality. You see, a girl's beauty and her youth make her beautiful, while a man's wealth and success makes him attractive. This is why in Hollywood you see these unattractive men walking down the red carpet with the supermodel holding onto their arms. Maybe she loves him for his heart. No, she doesn't. She loves him for his success. Okay, back to your problem. You got pressure coming from every angle and everyone's asking, why aren't you married yet? They keep putting pressure and pressure and pressure onto you. Why isn't she married? What is wrong with her? Nothing is wrong with her. She's just not married. Wow, you are not married. What's wrong with you? I wonder what's wrong. Nothing is wrong with her. She is just unmarried. So now you're coming up with every excuse possible like Mr. Perfect never came along and all that nonsense. I call that nonsense because there is no Mr. Perfect. Both you and I know that. I know, I know. 
So now what? So now we need a plan, we need a solution. So here's Baba Ali's advice. First things first, is what you're looking for in a husband realistic? If you're waiting for that rich and handsome guy, that extremely rich and that extremely handsome guy to come in with this shiny white horse and go gallop, 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 that's the sound of the horse, gallop, 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 and knock on your door and he comes off of his horse and he sees you and he says, I love you, I've always waited for you, you complete me. And then he's gonna take off your shoe and kiss your feet. Then you can continue living in your fantasy because that's a fantasy that only happens in the movies. I'm not even sure if it even happens in the movies. That happens in your head and only in your head. Again, there is no Mr. Perfect and there's no Prince Charming. I may not be a prince, but I'm charming. Stop messing around, Ali, and let's move on to the next topic. Okay. Second, if the price of your dowry is something insane, then the only person who will agree to such an amount is someone who is insane. Insane! Do you have any idea how many girls are not married because of the ridiculously high dowries their parents have set up? So many. Insanity! Again, if you're serious about getting a husband, you have to be realistic. Next, if you're serious about getting married, then let everyone and their mama know that you're serious about getting married. This way, if something comes up, people will mention you. It's kind of like having the word of mouth marketing, but using the sister network. The sister network, where information travels faster than cable or DSL. Look, I already got my message. And then when someone special does come along, don't just sit there and expect them to mysteriously know that you're interested in him. Just a word of advice, men are blind when it comes to women's signals. But don't worry, there's many halal ways of getting your message across. All you have to do is go through the proper channels. But what if I'm old fashioned? If you're in your mid 30s and you're about to hit the big 4-0, you don't got time to be old fashioned. You can't afford to be old fashioned. We gotta get moving here, people. Let me remind you of one of the greatest women, Khadija. When she saw a man with great character and a great personality, did she just sit there and hope that one day, somehow, some way, he'll just come and mysteriously know that she's interested in him? No. Exactly. She notified him through her friend that she's interested in marriage. He accepted, they got married. And that just didn't happen by her just chilling and being old fashioned. And that was like 1400 years ago, so what are you talking about being old fashioned? Last but not least, make sure you make dua and pray istikhara. Although naturally beauty and success are attractive qualities, the one quality that brings happiness to a marriage is deen. So you should always first look at the person's deen when you're looking for your other half. Because if your deen is missing in your marriage, then you can kiss your marriage goodbye. Mwah! So remember, marriage is half your deen, so don't expect completing half your deen as an easy task. This dunya is nothing but a trial, and this process of getting married is nothing but a trial. So you have to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you patience and to give you strength inshallah. Don't give up hope and don't stop trying. There's someone out there for everyone, and inshallah you'll find your other half. This is Baba Ali, and that's my advice. If you want advice from a friendly funny guy, ask Baba Ali.